it's story time again. Gather around, gather around. So anyway, so I go to work today, and as I'm walking to the door, I notice that it's covered in cardboard from like a box. So I'm like putting shit together, starting to figure it out in my head why. I see a big ass rock on the ground next to the door. I'm like, okay, well that's why. So apparently this morning, and I watched it on camera, some kids at three in the morning threw a fucking rock at the window, almost shattered it. It was, it was, they could have, you know, gotten if they wanted to, but it was shattered enough. And then apparently they were also casing the joint at one in the morning, you know, and then they came back later and did it. So I, that was interesting to come to work, and I was like, oh my gosh. So then, yeah, they, uh, well, so we'll have a new door if that matters tomorrow. It'll be nice and clean, <laughs> clean glass. But then, as I'm getting ready to go, get, you know, put my drawer in after counting it, so I can start working as you know the faggot I cashier that I am. I see, I hear outside that someone's getting arrested. I'm like, what? What's going on outside? Some drunk dude got pulled over into our parking lot and got arrested. The cops towed him and everything. So I was like, wow, what a day. It's already being like that. And then to follow it all up, I had a, a kind of a fail, you know, this is like a fail montage of myself today. So this dude came in, he bought like $300 worth of shit, which was kind of crazy, but he, uh, there was a broken candle he bought, and I cut myself, right? And I'm like, fuck! And he doesn't notice it, so I'm just like, whatever, I'm just gonna keep going until I get done, and then, you know, heal myself later. So I'm bleeding, and I'm like, fuck, it was like a paper cut, too, so and it didn't stop bleeding for a while. So I ended up giving back his change and stuff, and he's like, money's bloody, you're bleeding. I'm like, fuck. And he's like, and he acted like he didn't want that money, too, as a nickel. It had blood on it. He was like, he put it back down on the ground. He's like, I don't want it. I was like, this dude. So I give him, give him a clean nickel, and then I go, and I, and I, and I, and later, I, I go later after I, I heal it up and whatever, and here comes the punchline. So I go in the bathroom to clean off my knife on, uh, I have a money clip that has a knife in it. I go in the bathroom to clean it up after finally healing my thumbs paper cut and I actually got cut also on the hand. And I was like, man, I hate paper cuts and shit. As I'm cleaning the knife, I'm like, oh, I rub the edge of it to see how sharp it is. Or to, to see, not how sharp it is, but to see if I got all the, um, cause I had like glue on it from, I used it to open boxes, you know, the tape is like all sticky and, the, and it was kind of gross. So I was wiping it off. I cleaned it really well, actually. I'm kind of proud of the clean job I did. My dumb ass, slices my finger open on it trying to see if it was clean enough yeah it was clean enough and it was sharp enough so that's the punchline i was like damn i was like i just fucking healed my left hand now i hurt my right hand i was like i'm such a dumbass so that's my uh, story of the day i don't know guys i get bored at work and i think to myself all right peace out thanks for watching